Hello, it's Emma with Polly's Paper Crafts and I have got a scrapbook process video for you. Um, <laughs> I am doing photos from uh, the, the Like Forever retreat that I went to in March and the album that we got at that retreat is an 8.5 by 11. So all of the pages that I'm doing for that album are the 8.5 by 11 size and actually I really enjoyed the smaller size. Um, for a start, the page came together really quickly. Um, and it was just, yeah, I really like the smaller size. And I was using bigger photos as well because um, I was printing on A4 paper at home using my Canon Pixma. And I was able to print sort of bigger than 4x6, which was really, really interesting to use actually. Um, so this photo is going to be my sort of cover page in my retreat album and I thought it was quite fitting that I used a page kit that we got at the retreat. So um, Nicola's idea was that we all did like little presents for each other um, at the retreat so we had lots of little bits and pieces um, as little gifts to each other to open which was really really sweet and it was a really nice idea. and. Julie, who's a lovely, lovely Like Forever member or subscriber, um, her pillow present to everyone or her little gift to everyone was to make a page kit. Now, she made 27 of these and they are just stunning. It must have took her hours and hours and hours. But it was so, so pretty that I didn't want to use all, it all on one page. <laughs> um, I was kind of hoarding it a little bit and I wanted to use it on more than one page. So that um, piece of paper was the embossed sort of chevron paper. It was A4 and it was like a, it, it was embossed. It had really, really lovely texture to it and I couldn't bear to use the whole thing on one page. So I, I cut it in half <laughs> and I've still got the other piece to use elsewhere because I just thought it looked awesome. Um, so yeah, I'd ripped the top as per, I'm kind of going by Julie's instructions because she gave us like, um, so, some instructions on how to put a specific page together using the pieces that she'd given us. And that page was stunning, but it was originally on, oh no, it was on an eight and a half by 11. But either way, it was a stunning photo and, and page, but. I don't know, you know when you kind of get an idea and you just kind of go off on your own little tangent? So I was using elements of hers, so she, her instructions was to put the this punched border behind and again I cut it because I want to use it on something else, I don't want to use it all at once, It's I'm really bad, I'm, I'm hoarding. Um, so yeah, so I'm using elements and I really, really like the way it came together and it came together really quickly as well. So really, really happy. Um, so you can see this is, there's something in frame that is not usually in frame and that is my laptop. Um, so I do apologize, it's over in the corner, but this was filmed during National Scrapbook Day. So Saturday, Sunday, we did like the weekend. <clears throat> and it was a really, it was really busy online, I'm sure you're aware. At the time of making this particular page, I was watching Inky Quill's scrap stream. So that's off to the side and I'm sort of scrapping away and watching her and it was, yeah, it was really, really nice. It felt like I was scrapping along with someone. That sounds really sad. But um, to have voices in the background all day while I was scrapping, I was going through, once her scrap stream had finished, I then went to, let's say I'm, I'm replying to someone there or typing something, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but all day it was, it was either Inky Quill's scrap stream or it was Nancy or Kitty Scrapper's UK YouTuber hop or it was Click Kit's hop or, the, you know, there was so much going on or I was in the Light Friend Facebook group where there was challenges going on and it was just, it was a fab, fab weekend and um, yeah so my laptop is off to the side and it will be off to the side in quite a few videos to come because I was sort of in the zone and scrapping so I thought well I've got to film as well so um, 
yeah, you can see it off to the side. Um, what have I done on the background while I've been waffling? I have used Heidi Shine or Heidi Swap Colour Shine in Ocean and just done some tiny sprinkles just in the background in a sort of diagonal fashion. And now I am faffing around with my title. So as it is my cover page, I just wanted it to say LFE Retreat 2016. So I'm still using these stickers. They are DIY stickers. Uh, we got them in the January 2016 kit and they're like they're mistable you can spray them or color them or do whatever you want to them i quite like them white to be honest i like the white on white kind of look but as i was looking at the letters i realized i really didn't have the right the right letters at all sorry that was mid yawn how awful is that i've just got home from work and i'm doing my voiceover um that was a thumbs down there uh to the retreat because I thought I thought I didn't have any lowercase e's and I thought I might be able to get away with using two c's and putting dots to join them up it just looked weird so that wasn't going to happen um so then I thought okay maybe I will hand write it brave I know um so that's what I'm doing here I did do it on a scratch piece of paper first and kind of hoped for the best when I when I did it on the layout I thought what on earth am I going to do if I completely mess this up and I have to redo like tear everything off and then I started having a real issue with those mistable stickers because although they are mistable they're a bit rubbish in the fact that they completely peel apart and even if you haven't misted them so they're completely dry and they're not wet at all the the chipboard layers just kind of they just separate so easily um, oh, and I'd run out of L's, so I had to piece together an L from an I and a dash of some sort. I was going well on this layout. <laughs> um, so, yes, just adding that XOXO at the top. That is cut from foam, and it's sewn onto, like, a craft tag. And then there was this little pocket tag type thing down the bottom. And I thought I would put that, put a little bit of journaling in there. So I bought, when I was resisting the urge to buy the, the Crafter's Companion diamond press, press embossing machine. Um, because I do have a cuttlebug, but I don't use it. So I was thinking, I need to buy some dies and see whether I use them before I can justify me buying the diamond press. I was being sensible. Um, so I bought an X-cut doily die, which when it is cut out, it is so, so pretty. Let me tell you, getting it out of the die is a pain in the backside. And I'm looking at it now, I've picked it up and I've still got bits of paper stuck in all the holes because I just, I lost my temper with it and I couldn't be bothered to sit and poke all the holes out because it was driving me insane. Um, oh, I've finished. I've, I didn't realise I'd finished. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I really like this layout. It looks awesome in my album, if I don't say so myself. I hope you come back. There are plenty more um, layouts to see from National Scrapbooking Weekend. And I hope you stick around. Bye.